Chapter 3, Mishnah 2. At the end of the previous Mishnah, the sages taught that if three Lugan of Shu'uvan fell into a mikvah holding less than 40 saw of rainwater, it remains disqualified until its original contents plus a little more go out of it. This Mishnah presents an application of that law and offers another way of fixing this disqualification. How so, i.e., how is the law of a mikvah that has been disqualified by three Lugan of Shu'uvan applied? A pit in the courtyard that contains less than 40 saw of rainwater, into which exactly three Lugan of Shu'uvan fell remains forever disqualified until its full original contents flow out, plus a little more. That is, the amount of rainwater that was in the mikvah before the addition of the three lugan of Shu'uvin, plus a little more, must flow out, as we learned at the end of the previous Mishnah. Or until he sets up in the courtyard below a second mikvah of 40 sa'a, connecting its water to the disqualified water of the pit. And the upper water, i.e. the water in the pit, will become tahor, i.e. validated by its connection with the lower waters, i.e. the water in the kosher mikvah. The Mishnah cites a Tana who allows this only if a certain condition is meant. But Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah rules that it is invalid unless he sealed the opening to the kosher mikvah so that it opens only to the pit. And the only way to reach the mikvah is through the pit.